sometimes there are people who are married to each other. The husband sitting at home, no conversation, no companionship. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon his family, made it clear. The right of your wife is that you engage in dialogue with her. An hour of dialogue with your wife is greater than a whole night's worship in my mosque in Medina. How many of us want to go to the mosque of the Prophet, peace be upon him, and his family in Medina? Many of us. He says an hour of dialogue with your wife. Notice he says an hour because a bit more than that could be a headache. But <laughs> he says an hour of dialogue with your wife is greater than what? Is greater than a night, night of worship. worship. Don't come and worship a whole night in my mosque when you have not honored your wife in terms of her rights. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, made it clear. And I think what happens is there are husbands take their wife for granted. Or there are husbands with no romantic side to the relationship. Sometimes when you have a kid or two, you can go into a real rut where what happens is that you don't go on a holiday, the two of you alone anymore. Rather, it's always with the kids, which is great. But when's your own, when is your own time? When are you two going to be having your own time? And at the same time, your own time can sometimes bring a buzz back into the sexual part of your life. Because if both of you are going to bed every night in a relationship, where you've sat down, you've watched some television, but there isn't really any sex in your life, that is going to have a major problem. Now, to have that sex buzz come back, a number of factors can be involved. Number one, the husband looking after themselves. And with some of the food we eat in our mosques. <laughs> but we'll come to that in the next show on the rights of the stomach of the human being. On Monday, inshallah. So you've got the husband looking after themselves. Because husband's always telling the wives, why are you not like when I married you? Have you seen yourself? Have you looked after yourself? Secondly, sometimes, let's not just blame the husbands. Sometimes there are ladies who the smallest thing, that's it, I don't want to be with you anymore. Or sometimes can forget themselves. And I'm sorry to say that. But when you started off, you are a size good. And now you're a size, you know, Michelin tires. And, and so we don't want to go to that level. Go to a level where a person remains trim. Our parents and grandparents' generation they didn't get to see many girls. Our dad sees our mom, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, move on. <laughs> Whereas in this generation, you know, people are watching films, programs, like there's a certain level now of expectation. Yeah. And sometimes the mind will wonder when there is no attention being paid, especially if the man's lost their chivalry. Okay. And that is fundamental also when it comes to if a woman feels that her man's jealous over her, or there's a firmness in the man where, you know, because what are we looking for? We're looking for opposites. I'm a man, I'm looking for that feminine softness in my wife. My wife, being a woman, she's looking for the, a bit of, you know, leadership strength, and dominance yeah. there. Strength. Some strength. If that's not there, then the ladies look at you thinking, well, he's a nice guy, but there's no oomph. Mm -hmm. And so, even with some of the men, sometimes it's not about maybe how much sex you're having, but just paying that attention. You look great today. A little text message. Mm -hmm. I love you. A little flirtatious line. You know, all of these have a bearing on ensuring that the mind doesn't wander elsewhere. Yeah. Doctor, you were saying how important it is for a uh, man and wife to have sexual relations. And uh, I've read somewhere in, when it comes to ahkam, now, if a man is distant from his uh, wife for more than four months, their marriage is nullified. Is this true? This is a, a, a myth, a common myth actually in our communities, that if a husband and wife don't have sex for four months, then automatically it's divorced. No, not at all. Okay. But certainly, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon his family, you'll find traditions from them. Should never be that period of four months of no sex. That four months is given to us as a boundary. 
within within those four months there should have been made time for you know sexual desires to be fulfilled and let's not say the male sexual desires you see many men is having sex with his wife as soon as he's happy he just moves away doesn't think has my wife been pleasured is my wife pleased with me and you know sometimes what i think it is sometimes the men and the woman in the muslim world don't know what's allowed for them what's not mm-hmm. big problem is this halal or is it not nobody knows and so there are certain marriages believe you me where the sexual life of the husband and the wife if they've had sex in in two positions over those years they've done you know, that's good for them yeah and this is this is sad that people don't know about foreplay about the different pleasures that you're able to have sexually you know this brings a smile i don't care what anyone says you want a new car and you want an extension to that house and you want some new gift it's a way to get to the uh, guy and a way to get to the girl now the way to get the girl could be a few diamonds and the way to get to the guy islam's allowed you know and 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 but i don't think many of our people know what's allowed what's not so would you care to discuss a little bit about what is allowed and what isn't allowed? I mean, well, I, I think, I think, foreplay, um, say, say Muhammad Rizvi, resident, the Maulana of the Ja'fari community in Toronto, has a fantastic book, Marriage and Morals. It's available online. Marriage and Morals is a fantastic book, which I'd recommend to anyone who's in their teenage years who wants to know about the discussions of the Imams of Ahlul Bayt السلام, when it comes to sex. Now someone would think Imam al-Sadiq السلام, discusses sex. Mm-hmm. Imam al-Kadim السلام, discusses sex. The Imams of Ahlul Bayt did not leave a single area of this world without discussing it. A single issue in one's life without discussing it. That's why they are the beacons of knowledge. So were sexual positions discussed were things like yes you know, i'll give you an oral, example oral play yes. kissing yeah. on private areas people like ask that. the question a man is able to satisfy his wife orally someone asked imam al-kadham alayhi salam a question he asked him can i kiss the vagina of my wife and that was explicitly mentioned explicit our cultures are narrow-minded we don't discuss these things our religion is open-minded now someone has to ask the question, are we going to follow culture or we follow religion? Our culture has forgotten the key elements of the discussions of the Ahlul Bayt and has now brought up innovative, you know, innovations which we don't know about. Imam Al-Kadhim has asked the question, can a person kiss his wife's vagina? Is this method of sex or foreplay allowed? said yes there's no issue believe you me there are muslim men out there who probably have never with their wives ever done anything like this and there are muslim women out there who i guarantee you either thought this is not allowed Mm -hmm. or prevent their men from doing this and then later complain why the sex is not good one example then is a woman allowed to for example kiss the private part of the man this is a question and when we ask these questions i know that it reminds us me and you of a couple of stories of emails we receive on this show where people ask us this and you really you find it difficult to reply back to those emails by saying yes uh, this particular um, you know act is allowed because sometimes the phrasing is very interesting Indeed. Can the woman do it? What do you mean, can the woman do it? If you're not having that in your marriage, that's one boring bedroom. <laughs> and even, you know, you're saying boring bedroom, I think you should take it further. Not just the bedroom. Why is the, everything confined to the bedroom? And someone's going to say, well, there's kids in the house and so on. Again, there's this boring attitude, which is we go upstairs, room, this, okay, sleep, ghusl, go back. Mm. The, you know, even so, the Ahlul Bayt salam, make it clear there is a messenger between the husband and wife, and that is called foreplay. Okay. Foreplay. A person 
using their hands and their fingers with their wives, that is allowed. Kissing the vagina, allowed. Kissing the private organ of the man, allowed. All of these are allowed. I am not saying they're allowed. Imam Sadiq alayhi salam has discussed them. 